New Orleans is synonymous with the word jazz. Born over a century ago from Afro-Caribbean and European cultural roots, this music is a dynamic reflection of beauty, adventure, and the human spirit. The pulsating energy of jazz still breathes life into this unique city, thanks to the tradition bearers who have kept the music alive through many generations. So it is no secret that young jazz musicians who want to capture the music and its inimitable essence have flocked to New Orleans to experience and learn firsthand from the masters. In 1989, New Orleans jazz patriarch Alice Marsalis became a beacon for the future of jazz at the University of New Orleans. As director of the new jazz studies program at UNO, Marsalis set an important precedent for a quality jazz education. Through this vanguard program, UNO has developed a creative environment where young musicians gain valuable and genuine hands-on experience alongside the progenitors of this music. Performing on stages and venues where jazz was born has inspired greatness and an ever-evolving legacy of New Orleans musicians, including Nicholas Payton, Brian Blade, Bryce Winston, Jason Marsalis, Delfeo Marsalis, Johnny Vidakovich, Perlin Riley, Troy Davis, David Torkanowski, Roland Guerin, Troy Andrews, Donald Harrison, Evan Christopher, Shannon Powell, Harold Baptiste, and Irvin Mayfield. Mayfield has also paved the way for the future of jazz by serving as artistic director for the New Orleans Jazz Institute. I'm Irvin Mayfield. I'm the artistic director of the New Orleans Jazz Institute. Hi, my name is Susan Krantz. I'm the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts at the University of New Orleans. Hey, my name is Victor Atkins. I'm a professor of jazz studies here at the University of New Orleans. I'm Steve Mazakowski. My official title here is the Coca-Cola Endowed Chair of Jazz Studies. My name is Robin Williams, and I am the Director of Programs for the New Orleans Jazz Institute. The New Orleans Jazz Orchestra and the University of New Orleans have come together to create the New Orleans Jazz Institute. The New Orleans Jazz Orchestra is to jazz what NBA is to basketball. It is where the professionals work, we commission music, we perform, we tour, we run programs, and the University of New Orleans is a leader uh, in the university experience here in the region. Uh, the New Orleans Jazz Institute is an example of the partnership and provides a bunch of opportunities that speak to bringing professionals with students, and sometimes the students become the professionals and vice versa. The Jazz Institute is designed to promote creative excellence in all aspects of jazz, education, composition, scholarship, performance, as well as the importation and exportation of this unique American art form that has its roots in the culture of New Orleans. The University of New Orleans has been fortunate uh, with the New Orleans Jazz Institute as well as the Jazz Studies Department to have a wonderful legacy. Uh, really the progenitor of the legacy would be uh, the great Ellis Marcellus, who was the first Coca-Cola endowed chair for jazz studies at the University of New Orleans. Uh, he since then retired but maintains a great relationship with the university. Uh, but UNO has an embarrassment of riches of great jazz musicians who followed through that legacy. My predecessor, Ellis Marcellus, always felt that students wanted to learn from professionals. They didn't want to learn from professional teachers. They wanted to learn from people doing what they ultimately want to do. And the entire jazz faculty here are working professionals in, in the field of music. Ed Peterson who's on the jazz faculty, is a wonderful saxophone player, um, has a big sound, he's a great educator, and for years and years, people have benefited, many students have benefited from his expertise, not only on just his saxophone playing, but also his depth and understanding of music as a whole. Uh, the current chair of the jazz studies uh, program, Steve Mazakowski, is a wonderful guitarist. I mean, one of the best guitarists in the world. To have an opportunity to study or be around Steve Mazikowski is just a joy and something that's a really lucky opportunity. Uh, he has raised many great jazz guitarists and his legacy. 
Uh, but more and more, what makes Steve so great is he's real hands-on, as well as the real deal, real world experience. He's done it, he's been there, he's done the major recordings. He's been on several sessions and he's constantly in demand and constantly being called, but he loves his students first and he'll always say that. Uh, we have Victor Atkins, who's leading the University of New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, the You Know Joe, and Victor's from Selma, Alabama. He's a serious piano player. He's worked with greats like Elvin Jones. He's worked uh, with Delphia Marcellus. He's worked with Mark Whitfield. He's worked with Nina Freelong. He's been there. He's done it uh, and brings a lot of humor and <laughs> sensibility to his playing. But the other thing is uh, Victor can give you a real perspective on what it is to be a jazz musician and all of the different opportunities that there are. He's had them. He's seen them. One, two, one, two, one. To prepare students in the classroom for careers in performance, NOGI has partnered with the UNO Jazz Studies Program to develop the University of New Orleans Jazz Orchestra. NOJO, the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, has joined with the university to create a new student orchestra and to give our students the same kinds of opportunities that touring professional musicians have. They are, in fact, professional touring musicians now. Students from this ensemble are strong candidates for future employment with the New Orleans Jazz Orchestra and other professional entities in Louisiana. The concept originated to create a band that would farm talent for the jazz orchestra because we, when we need subs, we get them from New York and L.A. and places where we shouldn't have to go. And so we felt like we should be able to create and develop that talent right here in the city and that um, UNO would be the ideal spot. These are some of the best players that we have at UNO. Um, this band has a certain kind of chemistry and there's some very strong players and there's a lot of character in the band. mentorship that the University of New Orleans Jazz Orchestra students are able to get here in this setting is very significant. Uh, for instance, we have people like Victor Atkins, who's a tremendous jazz pianist. He's in charge of the You Know Joe group, and the kids really enjoy working with him. I'm a, I, I hardly, I mean, they want to play. I just show up, bring in a new chart from time to time, and sit back and listen to it develop. kind of cool because like there's a lot of different kind of flavors involved in the group. There's a lot of different kinds of uh, styles that we're trying to do. When I did my undergrad it was all you know small combos, you know we did recitals, you know nothing really outside of that so um, to have an opportunity to go perform for you know people outside the city or you know, wherever in the world that you know, wants to hear us, you know, it's, it's really exciting to, to, to kind of be a part of that. The Sandbar Series is also another opportunity for students to gain a tremendous mentorship through master, master musicians that come here to work with the kids, um, both in a workshop situation and also in performance. Uh, some of those musicians have included Herlin Riley. I always think of jazz music as um, like a queen bee, and we are the workers. So uh, we're here to support the Queen. Yes, you know, and um, you know, I can remember when I was growing up here, right here in the city of New Orleans. I was growing up. There was a lot of older musicians who took time out to share their talents and, and their experience and their knowledge with me, such as Danny Barker, Mr. Alvin Baptiste, Mr. Kid Jordan. And now I travel around the world playing with different musicians and different artists. So it's my responsibility now to come back and just give a little bit back to the students around here. So, so uh, I want to thank you for the opportunity. with her.
Roland Riley. He's an amazing drummer. Um, he really fills up the room with energy when you play with him. And, and to hear that history behind you while you're playing, hear someone on that caliber, allows you to, to think about a lot of things and, and hear a lot of things that you might not have been able to hear otherwise. The essence of swing definitely came from here, and you can feel that with New Orleans drummers and, and rhythm section players all together. And that kind of exposure and opportunity to play with those guys is uh, very unique to being at this school in particular. In April 2009, Noji hosted 40 jazz industry decision makers, musicians, and music educators for participation in the first annual Jazz Evolution Retreat at the Royal Sinesta Hotel. The ultimate outcome for the retreat is to create and formalize a new New Orleans Jazz Consortium in 2010, based on the priorities and initiatives set forth in these preliminary meetings. The University of New Orleans being the flagship institution for the city of New Orleans. I think it's the correct place for this to occur. And I hope that most of what we do is lateral, more so than vertical. Now, what I mean is that to become a jazz musician, there's a lot of vertical activity. You choose your instrument, you study, you practice, and you continue to, to develop as an individual. However, once we begin to talk about industry, this is a point at which we begin to take on lateral proportion. That is, there has to be connections that move away from the vertical aspect of just practicing an instrument and becoming very good at that. This could very well be the beginning Forthcoming is a jazz industry web blog where members of the jazz community can continue the dialogue. Noji and the University of New Orleans is pushing New Orleans music and heritage forward by investing in the learning environment of our children and young adults. For more information on the New Orleans Jazz Institute or the University of New Orleans Jazz Orchestra, please visit cola.uno.edu slash noji or www.thenojo.com slash programs.